Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take a save game file from the internet, put it on a USB thumb drive, and transfer it to your PlayStation 2 so that you can start playing game, save game files from the internet, like 100% save game files. Or maybe you want to use this same method to transfer games from your PS2, the save game file, to your PC and back them up, which is perfectly fine. So how do we do this, right? So well, the first thing you need to do is download a save game file. So for Today's example, I'm using God of War. I downloaded this save game file right here. Pretty simple. Now, in terms of the PS2 tools, what you need is this program called PS2 Save Builder. Download it right here. And what it is, is it allows you to manipul manipulate the save game file. So let me show you how this works, right? So I have all the files downloaded to my USB thumb drive. It's a 2 gigabyte Kingston formatted as FAT32. So I already extracted the zip file. And so let me run the PS2 save builder. And I'm running Windows 7 if anybody was curious. And if you try to run it, it gives you some error. Uh, try to run it again. Or if it fails again, then what you could do is run it as administrator and see what happens there. Now I don't understand what happened because it was working when I did not have Contagious Studio on so maybe it's related to that I really don't know. So once the program has finally started up, oh here we go. So what do we do here? So we go to file and we go to open and um, navigate to your wherever you save your save game file click on open. Okay so what I like to do is um, basically highlight this whole thing here Go to Control C, okay. Go down here, press Control A, or okay, that didn't work. So let's hold down the Shift key and left click and select all these icons here, or files, and go to Extract. So here I am in the Kingston file. Great. I'm gonna make a new folder. Um, click on this button here. Let's see here, new folder, and we go to. Uh, we give it this name. So Control V, paste that name there. Now we go into this folder, click on save, and it will save all these files into that folder, right? So now we go into here, know that everything is in here, which is great. So all you gotta do is transfer this folder to your USB thumb drive. Now since I'm already in the USB thumb drive, there's nothing else further for me to do. So now with that said, let's jump straight to the video recording. All right, so here is my PS2 Slim, and for sake of time, I got my Kingston stick already in the PS2. So now, let's turn on the PlayStation and go straight into the Freemic boot. If you're using some other method, basically what we want to do is get to the U Launch Elf program. I don't care how you do it, you need to get there some way, somehow, some fashion. All right, so we go down to the U Launch Elf. So here we are. Press X. Now, hopefully, you can read it. If not, I'll try to describe what I'm doing here. So I'm going to press um, any button on the D-pad. So I'm going to press Circle to go to File Browser. Go down to Mass. Press Circle. And then you see this folder here, the Baskets folder. So I'm going to press R1, and then I'm going to press Circle on Copy. Now we go back to the root. Go back to MC0, and in here, just right click, sorry, press the R1 button, and go to paste. And what you will see happen is the God of War folder will be copied into my memory card. Now, there are a lot of files, so it will take a while, but finally it will get there, and there it is. Right here, God of War. So now, at this point, you can consider this tutorial done. Reboot your PS2 with your favorite game and life is good. But for those skeptics out there that don't believe any of this, let me restart my PS2 with my God of War game and show you how this works. So, let's turn off the PS2. Pull this out. And then I'm going to put in my God of War game. Turn on PS2. and show you living proof. Now if you guys don't care about this, you can um, skip, the, the, skip the end of this tutorial, I'm fine with that. But for those that want to continue watching, by all means go ahead.
Okay, so let's go to treasures and look at this. We got all this treasures um, unlocked. Um, so let's go back to triangle. Let's make sure I'm doing this correctly. And we go to load. And look, final battle. I did not play this game in a while, so I'm going to go to final battle. And man, this guy put on very hard. Dang. So I press X on select. So this is a great way. Um, if you want to save your save game files to your memory card, it's the same method. Go to you launch elf, find your directory of your save game file, right click, or go to R1, go to copy, paste it to your mass drive, and that's it. So here we can clearly see that the game works. Uh, there's nothing else for me to do. And that's a very good way to get those 100% save game files off the internet. If you got any questions, go ahead and leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.